The Mobile River Bridge and Bayway Project take two after a failed attempt two years ago to build a new toll bridge over the Mobile River to ease the bottleneck at the Wallace Tunnel on I-10. Well, a new plan has emerged that also includes a toll, but an option for drivers to make that trip for free. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams joins us live, and Debbie, leaders from both sides of the bay got an update on the project from ALDOT this afternoon. That's right. The Eastern Shore Metropolitan Planning Organization, along with the Mobile MPO, met with ALDOT this afternoon for an update. And the new plan appears to show that that toll bridge just for big rigs is no longer an option. A new plan to ease congestion on a very crowded I-10 Bayway includes a couple of things. A toll bridge. Anyone that wants to have that option, you can go free through the existing routes, or if you're in a hurry, or want to get kids from Houston, Texas down to the Gulf, then uh, you'll be able to pay a toll. And most people, if they have an option, like that. Also on the drawing board, expanding the bayway from two lanes to three. This uh, three laning to uh, two laning to three laning is not a done deal. I'd like to know that it's been tried and been successful somewhere else. If we're going to be the alpha test for this, then there ought to be some additional funding brought forward from the feds to see that it's done. The process starting over for the Mobile River Bridge and Bayway project that will include construction and design, traffic counts, environmental studies, and how the project will be paid for. Leaders from Mobile and Baldwin counties hoping that more money will be available on the state and federal level. Our project is as important as it is to us, everybody. Every community has some big project that they would like. I want everybody that goes from uh, Tallahassee to Baton Rouge to have an opportunity to help pay for this because they're benefiting from it. A project that could not only ease congestion and speed up your commute, but could impact the economy of the entire Southeast. Now, the project is proposed to be done in three phases. The toll bridge would be the first phase. How much that toll will be? Not even a part of the conversation at this point. Live on the Baldwin County Beat in Spanish Fort, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.